I called on Patrick Georges, whose family probably owns the most extensive collection of rare hardwoods in France. Pieces of Cuban mahogany, squared by axes and uh, edges, uh, at the end of 18th century. And it's the only way to get some good color in mahogany because the mahogany take a better color uh, when it take age. So that's 200 years old? Uh, more or less, yes. More or less, yes. Is it a good color? It's a good color, yes. And this is of Jamaica cedar, called also Spanish cedar, with a very good, mm, jolly good smell. And we use that mainly to make the cigar cellars. Uh, because this would give a good, a good smell to the tobacco and it's a good uh, thing to protect the wetness of the cigars. Yes, and that one, it's a business of palm tree. Palm tree? Palm tree, yes. We, we, we bought that in uh, South America, in uh, Colombia or in Guyana. And we, we kept that in veneers, in so-called veneers, mainly because it's impossible to slice of that. And we obtained veneers very used actually because uh, the, 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 the mode, the fashion are in the hard deco period. Yes. And it was the main period using this type of veneers. Is it very hard? It's a very, very hard wood. Uh, very hard around and very soft in the heart is the problem. Yes. Exactly. And also, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's wood very hard to sew because uh, it's like sand. Yes. And you, you, you used very quick the blades of, of the sew. Of the sew. Mm -hmm. It's a very old sockat veneer. Chaque fois que vous avez une fleur, vous avez un petit filet autour, vous avez ensuite une pièce en Monsieur Moussi explained to me that each flower was made up of eight separate pieces of wood. Vous avez encore à l'intérieur deux pièces, donc le centre et le, la périphérie de la fleur. Une fleur, vous avez un, deux, each time trois, there is quatre, a flower, it means sept, eight more pieces. So there are hundreds of different bits in this type of marketing. Il y a des, des centaines de pièces sur ce genre de, de marqueterie. I watched fascinated as some marketry experts made up some panels. They cut 12 pieces of veneer at a time. The wood gives the color to the leaves, but they burn the bottoms of the leaves in hot sand to give a black edge. Just imagine the work that goes into a panel like this. In a workshop nearby, I found some serious repairs taking place. I was told that over the centuries, the worms had done all this. There's clearly a lot of stress hereabouts. Bonjour, monsieur. These people make all those brass decorations for which French furniture is so famous. There are literally thousands and thousands of different brass fittings and decorations here. This chap is remaking a brass decoration to replace one that is missing on a piece of furniture.
This gentleman is actually French polishing. Here are some finished pieces waiting to be packed and shipped to America, which is probably the last place that can afford the luxury of such work. 